cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A Pinellas County general contractor was stunned to see his license number on another contractor's executed contract. Not supposed to happen. That's against the law. And he was furious when he felt authorities did not take his complaint seriously. So he knew he'd better call banking. Jen Keith, passing a state contractor's exam is not easy. And the contractor who turned to me for help, he has four licenses in four different specialties, only to find each one of those license numbers listed on another company's contract. Herb Quintero of Coast to Coast Specialties values the hard work he did to build his business. I am a licensed general contractor, licensed roofing contractor, licensed underground utility contractor, and a licensed mechanical contractor. He was shocked when he got a call recently from a man checking out another company with a similar name. He said that he had asked for a license number before he sent them any money, and when he Googled the license number, my name came up. Herb says the man sent him a contract for $60,000 that he signed with Coastal Design Group for a major home remodel. The contractor's signature, Michael Dunworth. Dunworth is listed in state records as the CEO of Coastal Development Group, LLC. Problem is, nobody with that name is licensed. Somehow, all four of Herb's license numbers are listed on Dunworth's contract. You've never heard of the company? Never. You never heard of the guy? Never. So, totally ripped off your resume. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, it's even in the order that it's on my business card. I found the company listed different ways, including coastal remodeling and design. And on its website, I found a business address of 200 Central Avenue in downtown St. Petersburg. So I decided to check it out. An office manager at Industrious, a communal workspace, told me the contractor never rented office space there. So I called the company's phone number. A woman who answered took a message for Michael Dunworth and told me to call the company's attorney. I've yet to hear back from Dunworth or his attorney. How do you feel seeing your license numbers on that? Because you said you've worked hard for your licenses. You've worked hard yeah. for your reputation. Yeah, I feel violated that, you know, it's, it's no different than taking your identity. You know, that, that's my livelihood. That's how I feed my family. I reached out to the Pinellas County Licensing Board and sent them this contract for review. A spokeswoman called me back to say neither Coastal Design Group nor any of the variations of its name are listed to do any construction work in Pinellas County. She said this is now an active investigation. I'd be mad too. I'm mad just watching him. I and it is his credibility, his reputation's on the line. Uh, how can people find out though if their contractor is legit and they're, and they're authorized? And, and second part of my question is, could this result in criminal charges? Well, it could result in criminal charges. That depends on what the county investigators find here because unlicensed contracting, well, that's against the law. That's why it's called unlicensed. As for others seeking to hire a contractor, you need to do what this customer did and look up those license numbers on your contract in state records. If you don't see the name, you don't recognize the name of the person you're dealing with, you need to call the license holder and check it out as this customer did. Mm -hmm. And the woman from the licensing contracting board told me today, thank goodness this contractor did that before he forked over the $60,000. Right. You do unpermitted and it work, you may have to tear it all out. All right. Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Bankin. There's the telephone number, 1-855-BANKIN, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.